What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome. My name is Zoe and I make bookish and lifestyle type videos and today you are watching part two of the moving vlogs that I have been doing. The last one I put out was me packing and moving and painting and cleaning back in Memphis and then ended where I finally arrived and moved back here into Wisconsin. And today I am starting a new kind of week-long vlog where I take you through the process of kind of setting up my new house, which is so cool. So to catch you up, we are renting a beautiful craftsman home in Wisconsin and I love it with my whole heart. It's so pretty. <laughs> I never thought I would love craftsman homes as much as I do now. Living in one, the wood trim on the windows and the wood doors and the floors and just the tiny like details that feel very charming and kind of antique and like oh my goodness I just love it. I love this house so much. So this vlog is going to be me unpacking and setting up my house. I probably won't get it fully set up but I have the rest of this week off to unpack and to set up this house. I'm really excited to do so. This is my favorite part of moving, is <laughs> setting up the new place. So I thought I would just kind of take you along with me on that journey. I woke up this morning and I've just been doing little tasks, paying bills, setting things up like Wi-Fi and water and all that good stuff. Why don't I show you the first project that I am doing this week, which is kind of just unpacking some totes and organizing some things. So I'll take you through here. So this way, through the hallway to the what is currently the guest room in here. George is taking a little nap. He looks absolutely adorable. And then over here is what is currently our bedroom. But we actually just decided last night that we are going to make the guest room our new bedroom and change this room into the office slash library slash getting ready room. <laughs> So the, the conundrum we're kind of running into is that this room is fairly small. It's really only going to fit our bed and our dresser, but it's the only room that's private, really, and currently has blinds installed, and it just makes sense as a bedroom. This room has a door leading out to the living room, and it's not really ideal for privacy. Ideally, we would like to have this room kind of be an extension of the living room where it's, like I said, a library. I'm thinking my bookshelves will go right here, which will be really nice for filming and for pictures since there's windows right there. And then maybe like my desk for work or editing, and then maybe a couch right there. So right now, though, we are working on organizing this closet, <laughs> organizing all of our clothes, and putting them into these separate totes to just organize like what they are and where they should go. So that's kind of my job right now. I definitely have more things to accomplish than just the clothes, but that's what I'm currently working on. And I'll just take you guys along with me the rest of the week um, and let you guys know what I've been working on tomorrow. No, Wednesday, I'm going thrifting with my sister-in-law, Sharice. So I'm really excited about that. And today I'm going to Target because I need to get a couple things for like a dish wand and some extension cords and uh, cat food. <laughs> so just kinds of items like that. And I'll show you guys what I get from there. But yeah, right now I'm gonna go ahead and get started on these clothes. was actually pretty easy. <laughs> I got it all done for the most part. I left a curtain in here. I could probably got that done in like 20 minutes. All of the totes are now separated and the closet is cleared with the exception of my wedding dress. On to the next thing. I think the next thing I need to work on is the kitchen, unfortunately. <laughs> I love this house so much, but the kitchen is probably the room I like the least because it's very small. <laughs> That's pretty typical with craftsman homes I guess is that the kitchens were rather small. I would assume that like back in the day people probably did a lot of food prep like on their tables like dining room tables or kitchen tables but uh, yeah the kitchen is just small so I've had to be really creative with space. This is basically the whole kitchen. <laughs> the dining room leads into the kitchen but uh 
this is what we have to work with, which is a very limited amount of counter space. And then a nice sink. I like that the sink is a little bit higher, which is super nice. And then the stove and the microwave and the fridge all came with it. We do have some pantry space right here, but it's very deep. Like each row is really deep. And it just is difficult to kind of like reach back in there and see what's all back there. So we at least have some pantry space. We have some hooks, which have been helpful to have. There's some cupboards up here, which I've been doing like seasonings. We like to have near our stove. There's cupboard space all over the top, but I'm, de <laughs> I'm definitely too short to reach that stuff. Here's another stuff. I've been putting like things I don't use as often up there. And then I have all of our like regularly used things in here. The hooks actually came with the cupboard, which I absolutely adore because I can at least have my mugs that I want, but I did have to give away a few when we moved <laughs> because I can't obviously keep all of them because the kitchen is so dang small. And then this is basically all the cupboard space too. Three drawers is enough to have like utensils, other various utensils, and then like bags and tin foil and stuff like that. So it's kind of tough to figure out what to pick and choose as far as kitchen stuff goes. My plan right now is to kind of separate everything into three categories. So we have a lot of stuff already out, but I still have to go through a lot of like appliances and stuff. What I'm going to do, I think, is stuff we use like every day obviously should go in the cupboards, cabinets, drawers, somewhere. Stuff we use maybe weekly on a regular, on like a semi-regular basis, maybe can go up in the really tall cabinet spaces, and then maybe in the built-in pantry and drawers over in the hallway. And then stuff that we use like every now and again, maybe every couple of months, or maybe a couple times a year, I'll just go ahead and bring down it to the basement. Um, we do have a basement, it's not finished, it's just concrete and a little creepy, but it's fine. It's really, really good for storage. So um, I'll go ahead and just bring some of that stuff down to the basement and uh, yeah, keep organizing. <laughs> Cause I would really like to have the kitchen done. I feel like the kitchen is the space that always just takes the longest because there's so many things that you realize you don't have and then you really do. <laughs> And then you're like slapped with the reality that you have so many kitchen things. It's nice that I have a small kitchen because it's made me be a little bit more picky about what I have and I don't need to go out and buy more things. We were definitely spoiled with cabinet space in our last house, but this is good. This is good. I, I'm enjoying the challenge of a more minimalistic life. <laughs> all right, I'm going to get to unpacking and uh, figuring out where to put all of this stuff. I got most of the kitchen done. This stuff right here just needs to be brought down to the basement, but this room is much more cleared out than it was, and I'm feeling good. I feel like some of the organization, even though it's tough, like it makes sense, and once we get, we actually just got a kitchen table or dining room table yesterday, and it came with a matching like server slash buffet, which will go right along this back wall. And it actually has like some drawers and some doors and like a little wine rack. So it'll be really nice for organization too. We'll be able to like maybe put my coffee stuff on top of it. This I might either, this desk, I might either bring downstairs or it might be my new desk. I don't quite know what I'm going to do with it yet, but yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling encouraged with every box that I empty. <laughs> it's one step closer to kind of getting this all situated. It's around 3 o'clock. Andrew gets done with work at 3.30 and he'll be home quick after that. And once he's home, I'm going to go ahead and go to Target. So I'm going to get dressed now, I think. So I'm just ready to go when he gets home. I'll let you guys know what I pick up. It's probably just like little odds and ends of things to help me complete some projects. I really, really want to get curtains for like all of these windows. Like there's like six windows in the living room. No, there's 
eight windows total. There's three on this side, three on the other side, and then two on the other wall. And then there's three windows in here. And ideally, I would like to get long curtains for each of them. So like two each. That's a lot of curtains. I don't know. I might have to look into that before I start buying curtains. But um, I do need to get some other various organizational things. So that's probably what I'll do. And I'll definitely show you guys what I got if I got anything fun. Hello. We just got back from Target. And I didn't really get anything too exciting. There was a lot of things that weren't like really in stock that I was looking for. They didn't have any dressers. They didn't have like really any necklace organizers that I was looking for. Other various things. So I did get a couple things. And I said I would show you guys. So here's like a tiny haul of some boring things <laughs> but I did get two extension cords so these are going to come in handy for the lights that I have strung on my front porch so hopefully tonight I can get this all hooked up and we can actually see what the lights look like I hope they look good but if they look dumb I'm just going to take them down <laughs> I did get this nice looking um bamboo dish rack it's prettier than all the other dish racks i don't really want to have a dish rack on my counter but we will need to do the dishes and we will need to dry them somewhere and we don't have a dishwasher so i thought that this would at least look kind of cute sitting on our counter <laughs> we just got two hand towels for the bathroom. I love color, but trying to stick to more neutrals so they don't clash with anything. The bathroom is kind of cute enough as it is, and white will just look nice and keep everything consistent. And I got a dish wand. This is what we use to wash our dishes. Fun facts you never thought you wanted to know, and you still probably don't want to know. And then I did get one of these organizers. I don't know if I can get it in the camera. We're gonna see. <laughs> Eat. It's one of these like big plastic organizers that are really just good for storage. I'll probably use this for like makeup and hair products and stuff. Because we only have the one bathroom, I'm planning on creating kind of a makeup vanity get ready space in our office slash library. So this will come in handy to put all that stuff in there and still keep it organized and still make it look nice. They had clear ones, but I like the ones that aren't clear because... I don't know, I just don't like being able to see through and like see everybody's stuff. I just wanted it to be a little bit more concealed, I guess. So that's pretty much all I got. I found a cool looking dresser on Amazon and a nice necklace organizer and oh, a vanity mirror. But the vanity mirror is a little expensive, so I might have to wait. But I might look at getting the dresser and the jewelry organizer soon so I can like get my stuff kind of hung up and out of boxes and stuff. Anyway. That's kind of it for today. Andrew and I did get our TV stand today though, so we might try and put that together later. We also want to move the guest bed upstairs into the guest room. I think that's what we're gonna do tonight. But uh, yeah, I'll check in when we have more things that are actually organized and put away and done. <laughs> Hello, happy Tuesday. It's like 1.30. I have been spending most of the morning slash afternoon editing my video that I want to get posted this week, but we'll see. And then I also did the dishes and I cleaned up a little bit, but basically I still have so much work to do. <laughs> so I did go ahead and move in. I don't know if you can see through this door. Probably not really that well, but my bookshelves are right there. I guess I can go in here. So, like I said yesterday, we're moving our bed into the other room, the more private room. And here, my bookshelves are now in their proper place. I don't know if I love it. I don't know if I'm enjoying this area for them as much as I thought I did. This is not a good angle. You can't really tell. I'll flip the camera around later and show you guys. But I think this is where they're going to go. There's really not any other space in this house for them to go side by side. So I think that this is the best way to do it. And then later on, Andrew and I will move our bed into this room, which currently has just like a bunch of shoes. And uh, I did move the dresser by myself, so go me. <laughs> Yesterday, we did move the guest bed upstairs into what is now our guest bedroom. And the cats love it. It's like their new favorite place. So they're like snoozing up there. They're super cute. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually put my shelves on the bookshelf and put my books on the shelf, which 
is exciting. I don't want to spend hours organizing it right now, so I'm not sure if I'm just going to start organizing now or should I just throw them all on the shelves and then do like a separate video where I organize my bookshelf. <laughs> I don't quite know. I'm kind of leaning towards that route because I just don't want to spend... I'm going to spend like hours organizing the shelves. Like I just know it and right now I kind of want to just get things put up and out of the way. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't love it. I'm not going to love seeing my books all in disarray, but at least they'll be up on the shelves. So that's what I'm going to do right now. <sighs> okay, just kidding. Change of plans. I can't find the little nubby things that go in the shelf to put the actual shelf the shelves on I put them in a plastic baggie and put them in a box somewhere <laughs> so now I have to go through all of my boxes to find those first and then I will put my books on the shelves <laughs> So I checked every single box possible for these little tiny things to have to put in the bookshelf. And I went downstairs and I was like, I bet someone put them together with a bunch of other tools and they did. <laughs> so I found them in here with a bunch of other screws and nails and whatever's. I hope that all of the ones that I need are in here, but I found them. So, I can finally put together my bookshelf and put my books away! <laughs> I did it! They look crazy and messy and they're not organized at all and it's already driving me crazy, but they're all on the shelf. I only have one remaining tote and it's full of books from my TBR. So it's all books that I haven't read yet. And I could probably fit them down below on like the last, very last two shelves, but I just don't know if I wanna do that. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with them yet. I did have like a square cubed bookshelf that I had them all in, so I might do that. I don't know. I haven't quite made up my mind yet. <laughs> I think we need to get this bed out of here and make this more of like the office slash library, and then I'll probably be able to envision it more. I don't love that these bookshelves are white. I do wish they were more of like a brown or just like a neutral color. Well, white's neutral, but you know what I mean. I feel like they just really stick out, but they do look better with the books actually on the shelves, so... At least there's that. <laughs> I'm glad to have them up though, and that's like seven totes that I cleared from the living room, which is a really good feeling. So it's about 3.30 now. Andrew should be getting home soon. I kind of want to go for a walk, so I might go for a walk when he gets home, and then just keep going through some other totes and stuff. It might be helpful for us to get some stuff upstairs into like the craft room and the guest room, and then move this bed tonight. So I think that's on the agenda, but I'll keep you guys updated.
Good morning. I am on my way to meet my sister-in-law at her house. We are gonna go thrifting today and I'm so excited. Last night I got super tired at like nine o'clock. I don't know if it's because I went for a really long walk. The walk that ended up going on last night was beautiful. It was amazing. Like absolutely amazing. Oh my word. It's just like beautiful. Anyway, it ended up being about a three mile walk and then Andrew wanted to go for a walk after dinner. So I probably walked like a total of four miles intentionally and then unintentionally just walking around the house. My watch said that I walked like six miles yesterday. So I think I was just super tired, but it felt really good. And I'm just like, so excited about where we live. Every day I feel like I discover something new and just like wonderful and oh my gosh. Anyway, it was great. I came home, we made dinner and ate and like I said, I got super tired at like nine o'clock, which never happens to me. I was gonna stay up, I was gonna read, I was gonna take a bath, I was going to edit more of my video, which I really need to do and I just didn't do any of it, I went to bed. And then I had a scary dream last night about It the Clown. I don't wanna talk about it, it was scary. Anyway, that was my night last night, and then today I'm going thrifting. I'm so excited. I'm going to head out, and I will show you guys what I end up getting, hopefully some good stuff at the thrift store. I have a couple things that in mind that I'd like to get. Andrew really needs rugs for downstairs in the basement is where he wants to set up all of his drums, but he wants to put them all on rugs. So hopefully I can find some like pretty cheap non-super dingy rugs that will work for him. And that's how it is just come here. And then what? Another, what do you need from the thrift store? Huh? What do you need? And yeah, I don't know. Maybe some like decor stuff. We need like a little table for a TV stand for upstairs. I don't know. And then whatever else we find. I'm really excited. So I will show you what I get when I come home. Oh my word, you guys, I scored so much today. I'm so excited to show you what I got. Okay. So it was a really good day. We went to like three different, three or four different thrift stores. I didn't find too, too much, but I like the things that I did find. And I didn't really expect to find much anyway, so I'm happy with some of the stuff I got. And then afterwards, I ended up going to Home Goods and TJ Maxx and then Hobby Lobby. And I love all of those places so much. And I got some really good stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm so excited. <sighs> okay. So, I'll show you first some of the stuff that I got from the thrift store. First, I found two little embroidery hoops. As some of you know, I like to embroider, and I'm always looking for more hoops. This one does have, like, someone's name on it, so I'm just going to probably stain it. But these are really good quality, and they're cute sizes, so I'm happy about these. They were, like, a dollar each, I think. Yeah, so super good deal there. And then I got some baskets that I'm really excited for. I like to use baskets for like miscellaneous things. It's really easy to help organize like my makeup or like my Sharpies versus colored pencils and all that stuff. So I got two really cute wicker baskets. The first one that I got was this one. It's kind of like this multicolored woven one with some handles, which I really like. It's in super good shape. A lot of times these can be broken sometimes, so, or just like damaged a bit, but this one is in almost like perfect condition and I really like it. And then this one I love. I think it's so pretty. It's this like woven wicker basket, <laughs> but it's just really cute. I love the detailing around here. I haven't really seen any Thing like this one so I love this I might actually use this like in our kitchen or like you could put some really cute just like centerpiece type things in here so I love this one and then I also found this really awesome just like wooden frame I am going to purchase some wall decor and just like photo type stuff from Etsy. I have like a whole Pinterest board of really cute designs they're all kind of in like this muted neutral jewel tones that I love so I'm really excited to do that and this is like a really just nice simple wooden frame I love it I didn't get all wicker and wooden stuff don't worry <laughs> I got this really awesome glass juicer I have wanted one of these forever and I really like the glass ones and I thought this one was super cute and it's in great condition so I'm really 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 excited about this because I've always wanted one and then I was looking for some serving bowls we really don't have a lot of serving bowls and so I found this awesome pink giant serving bowl it's beautiful it has like some flower details right here and it's just absolutely gorgeous i am like so excited about this bowl <laughs> 
So those are the things that I got from the thrift store. I'm super, super, super excited about all of these things. I think I spent a total of maybe like $12 on all of it. So super excited with those finds. And like I said, next I went to Home Goods and TJ Maxx and I've actually never been to Home Goods before. So I loved it. <laughs> I found some really cute stuff. So first I got this really, really cute planter. It's just like a simple kind of white and tan with like some geometric shapes and it's got little legs. I like the ones that have little legs. They're just so cute. And it was like six bucks. I love this so much. I had one that looked like a cat that I showed you guys back in December and I absolutely loved it, but my freaking cats knocked it down and broke it and I was very, very sad. So hopefully they don't knock this one down. It's actually a little bit stronger than the other one, so it shouldn't break. Next from Home Goods, I got this really cute blue wicker basket. What I want to do with this is put it in our bathroom. We kind of have like a white and blue theme happening in our bathroom and this will match our rug really well. Basically, I just want to put extra rolls of toilet paper in there. Someone did this recently in their bathroom and I thought that that was just a really cute and like understated way to hold more toilet paper and our bathroom is really small so this is like a great way to do that and it's just a really cute good quality wicker basket. It kind of ties in with the theme of like the wicker tones and wood tones that are going on, but it's not wood. It's blue. So I really like that about it. I think it's going to look really cute in our bathroom. The next thing I got, I'm really excited for, I got this really cute rug. It's like a runner. It's kind of like mostly an off-white with some like peachy and uh, orangey tones to it. And I really, really like it. I think it's just really adorable and it is really understated. If I don't use it in my kitchen, I'm sure I'll find another use for it. I really, really, really like this rug. The next two things that I got from Home Goods, I was not expecting to get, but I think that they will definitely, definitely come in handy. And that is this three tier kind of like wicker. Again, I know, don't judge me. I like the wicker. Okay. It's cozy, <laughs> but it's this like three tier wick wicker basket. And I think, okay, first of all, if anything, this would look super cute with a bunch of plants in it, like super cute, but I would like to try and utilize it for either like our fruits and veggies that we can leave out on the counter. So like bananas and apples and like onions and stuff like that. I think it could be really, really great organization for our kitchen. And I think this might be a really handy way to do that. I was really excited to find this. It was only 30 bucks. I think this is absolutely worth $30. It's super solid. It has little feet on the bottom. So it doesn't move around, it doesn't slide. If I had a bigger bathroom, I think this would look so good in a bathroom holding some extra toilet paper and like tissues and whatever, some extra towels. This would look so cute in a bathroom too. I think I've mentioned a couple times that with our storage in our kitchen, we have really high ceilings. So like the storage goes really high, but we can't really realistically reach the top shelves because they're so high. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my word, I could use this. And it's this adorable step stool. First of all, it's so freaking cute. Everything is just so cute and I love it. But we're gonna get so much use out of this because we need to reach our top shelves. <laughs> so I think this was such an investment buy, honestly. It was 40 bucks, which it was a little pricey, but I honestly think we're gonna get a lot of use out of it. And a step stool is always just handy to have around, honestly. So I am very excited. I think it's adorable. It's probably gonna sit in our kitchen. And again, if we don't end up using it, I think it'll be a really cute plant stand. <laughs> so at least I will use these things no matter what. Okay, just a couple more items. I then hopped over to Hobby Lobby because I really wanted to get a wreath for our front door. Thankfully, they were having a 50% off sale of the wreaths and floral section. So I got this super cute, it's like eucalyptus and just little white flowers. We saw a eucalyptus one over at Target and Andrew was like, oh, I really like that, but I wish it had just like little pops of white flowers. And I was like, yeah, you're right. That would look so cute. And they ended up having a eucalyptus wreath with little pops of white flowers. <laughs> so I was super, super excited to find this. It's just fake, which is totally fine because I want it to last as long as possible. And like I said, it was 50% off. So I'm really excited to hang this on our front door. I think it's gonna look so pretty against the wood. Hobby Lobby also had a bunch of vases on sale, which is great because I don't have like any 
good vases for flowers and the farmers market is really close to our house and we plan to go a lot which means I plan to get flowers a lot because I love them and I got this really nice circle geometric vase I really like the shape of this one and this was only five dollars so was on clearance so super happy about that okay and the last thing that I got I am so excited about it was a little expensive but it was on clearance so I'm happy about that and it's Oh my gosh, I love it so much with my whole heart. It's this beautiful four door little mini tiny dresser type thing. <laughs> it's gorgeous. I love the wood. I love the drawers. I love the handles. It was originally like $230 and I got it for 77 bucks. So a little pricey. I wasn't planning on spending that much money, but once again, we're really looking for ways to organize things. And I think this might fit really perfectly in this one specific space in our dining room and it could probably hold my coffee stuff. So that is what I'm hoping this will be. We will see. I will keep you updated, but I love this dresser so freaking much. It's so cute. So 100% worth it. I know it will get used no matter what. So those are all the things that I got today. I wasn't expecting to get as much as I did, but I'm really proud of my choices. I actually also ended up getting some rugs for Andrew really cheap. They're not that cute, so I'm not going to show them, but he's happy because I found some outdoor rugs for him to put in the basement so he could put his drums on there and play his drums. So he's really excited about those. He'll probably set that up tonight, I'm sure, because he's been dying to drum. I have a lot of work to do still. There there is still so much to be done. Andrew's gonna be home soon. He's at the gym. We're probably gonna eat dinner and then I'm gonna try and get some work done in this house. It's driving me a little bit crazy that it's not together yet. I know that it's gonna take time but I'm just so ready for things to mostly be put together. So that's the plan for tonight and I will check in soon. When I think about the way we used to be When I think about the things it took from me I hope that you can hear me okay. I'm actually on my front porch and there is traffic. We live on a fairly busy street, but I'm hoping that my microphone really helps my voice be heard okay. I just went for a three mile run slash walk. I don't run the whole time. So whenever you hear me say I ran three miles, it means I like half ran, half walked but I uh, wanted to check in because I had it yet today and honestly I've been having kind of like a weird mental health day. I don't know, I think because like the week is winding down and I have to return to work on Monday, I'm just feeling like I'm kind of dreading that. At this new house, it like feels like such a fresh start and like there's so much of me that just doesn't want to settle back into routines of like old life, which is so weird because I'm such a routine person, but I just am not ready to go back to work and like I so desperately wish that I could make like my creative outlets what I do for work every day. I think also another thing that's been bothering me is just like as much as I love being here, being back in my home state really brings back a lot of memories and I don't know, even just like going for a run today I was just <sighs> plagued with negative self-talk and I feel like I've been very transparent 
on my channel when it comes to like my self love journey which like I feel like I can't even say it's self love because I don't think it's ever gonna get there like I don't think I'm ever gonna be like I love myself just battling like negative thoughts I'm a mess I don't even know what I'm trying to say I think being back home for me is hard because there's so much of me that feels like a failure in a lot of ways which I know is not the truth and I know is really dumb but it's like I can't help but think that last time I was here I was what like 50 pounds lighter and it's just like no one cares but me but I care so much that it's like overwhelming and it just fills me with this like annoying sense of just like insecurity and anxieties especially when I'm hanging out with like old friends and family members <sighs> and seeing family members and just feeling like really inadequate I don't know it's just something that I'm battling and even while I was out for my run I didn't mean to go three miles but it just kind of happened because I got a little bit lost <laughs> but like it's really hot out today and I definitely didn't think that the heat would get to me as much as I did and I wore these like long workout pants like long black workout pants and like like a black short sleeve shirt and I was like dying in the heat and I was getting really lightheaded but I was like but in my head I'm like no push yourself like you you deserve this because you haven't worked out in forever and you haven't gone for runs so that's what you get you get to be lightheaded like what don't do that to yourself are you kidding me like that is right there like it just I got home and I just realized like hello that's not healthy like, that's not healthy to do that and I just so desperately don't want to go back into these negative spaces of forcing myself to be thinner just to feel worthy of people's time when that's not true I don't know I don't really know why I said all this I just felt like I wanted to share my self acceptance journey is still very much happening and in progress and I feel like every time I feel like I take a step forward I take two back and it's just tough like it's just so tough I guess I just all that to say is that if you're in that space too you're not alone I think the best thing to do is just to know what your triggers are and have people who you can run to and go to and say hey this is affecting me this way I was feeling kind of this way all day and then I went for a run in the heat for three miles which was probably not a smart thing to do so lesson learned I think I just need to continue to remind myself that ultimately like my body and what I look like has nothing to do with my worth as a human being and my family and my friends love me for me and I have to like remind myself of those things like actually say those things out loud to myself or I'm just gonna not gonna continue to believe them so that's just kind of where I'm at and I just want to check in the rest of the night is probably just gonna be spent unpacking I have a little bit more editing to do before I can upload my video tomorrow I probably won't check in the rest of the day today I just need to take the night off but I will check in tomorrow Friday um, yeah but anyway okay that's all for now <laughs> Happy Friday! If I look a little weird and greasy, it's because I have some self-tanner on and it's almost time to wash it off. What I'm seeing in the camera now looks crazy, so I hope that uh, I don't look too distracting. But I have officially uploaded my video, so I feel like that's a big kind of like weight off my shoulders right now. And I have a goal. My goal is to clear out this living room area. I want it cleared out. I want to move this rug that we've had sitting out over here. <laughs> and I want my, uh, you can't see it, right over there. Through there is our coffee table and I want that back in here as well. I just want like our living room set up to be pretty much good to go for like the weekend and just because I want it good to go. <laughs> and yeah, that's like my main area of focus right now this honestly is such a mess it's driving me crazy these boxes really just need to go down in the basement this table that my computer is currently on is actually supposed to go up to my craft room so I'm gonna try and get it up there but it's possible that I have to take the legs off first 
And if that's true, I might need Andrew's help. But for right now, this is the goal, is to get this done, because it's taken way too long. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Pride. That's where I never thought it would matter. If I'm gone by now. That actually went by so fast and I don't know why I put that off for so long. I drank a cup of coffee and now I want to get actually to the second part of the room, which is over here. Yeah, so there's a lot to do over here and I don't wanna wake Georgie cause he's sleeping and he's so cute. But I definitely have like a handful of things right here and things over here. I don't know what to do with this giant box of it's a giant box of artwork like wall art and what's really tough about this place is that they really don't want us like putting things like nailing holes into the walls but we haven't really asked yet so i think we're gonna ask and then hopefully be able to hang up some things otherwise i did get like a ton of command strips and i'm hoping if i just use like a bunch of command strips that like it'll stick to the walls but i would feel better with things just like nailed and screwed into the walls. Anyway, I'm not quite sure what to do with that yet. I also have a mess going on here in my library slash office because I need a dresser. I still haven't gotten a dresser, so I'm hopefully gonna try and convince Andrew to let me get like a dresser from Walmart or something. I tried to find some when we were out thrifting, but I just could not find one that was like decent enough quality and cheap. Like all of them were actually really weirdly expensive. So anyway, the plan now is to attack the second half of the room. I keep on driving to it still it feels like I pretend. Keep on driving and driving along the roads and never end. As my head of Hilma's back between the jars and bottle jug. Just I did it! <laughs> Everything but the table. Just ignore the table for now. I'm avoiding it, it's fine. <laughs> but it's so nice to see the floors. There's so much room for activities. <laughs> Ideally, I would love to like show you guys all of my decorations and all this stuff, but that will definitely have to come in the final installment of the moving vlogs. But I'm very encouraged to have gotten this stuff done. My next goal is to get this bad boy upstairs and get my little office slash craft room going. I'm so excited to have that space. I'll have to show you guys. I'm not sure if I've actually filmed anything upstairs yet, so um, I'll have to show you guys what's up there. I'm pretty excited about the space up there. Until the first light of dawn Just like fate without no warning It hit me so hard Oh, I'm so sorry, girl, I didn't mean to I didn't mean to I done messed it up again Yeah, I'm sorry if I crossed the line Saturday this morning Andrew and I went to the farmers market and it was really fun it was very ominous and quiet and like a little creepy because it's kind of dark kind of rainy kind of stormy we went really early this morning at like 8 30 and there just weren't a lot of people there and like everyone was very standoffish and like no one wanted to obviously like be close to one another because of COVID and so it was just like 
kind of just like an ominous farmer's market. There was like no live music, so it was kind of quiet. And like you, people weren't handing out samples because that was something that they couldn't do. So it was just like, it was just very interesting. It was a very weird vibe. But we still got some delicious bread and I got some coffee. It was good, it was fun. Andrew's at the gym, but he's probably gonna be home soon. And we're gonna get ready and head over to my brother's house. He lives about like 20, 25 minutes away, which is awesome. And we're gonna do Father's Day there. My dad's gonna meet us there, and my other brother's gonna drive up with his family. And so it's gonna be really nice because I honestly can't remember the last time that we've all been together that like wasn't Christmas. So it's gonna be really, really fun. I'm excited to see like my nieces and stuff. But anyway, I need to stop talking and get ready to go. Hey, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, everyone. <laughs> happy Father's Day. Oh yeah, happy Father's Day. We are on our way to a furniture store where we are going to look at some sofas and love seat sets. That's where we're off to right now. And then I think afterwards we have some blinds to return and then I need to get a dresser. So that's like another thing. And then I know Andrew wanted to go to the Nike outlet. There's, yes. a, there's a Nike outlet here. So he really wants to go to that. Shoes. That's pretty much what's gonna happen today. For now, we are furniture shopping. In Classic Zoe vlogging fashion, the last day of my vlogs <laughs> never goes how I want it to go. I think I just lose so much energy by the end of like a week long vlog that Sundays typically are the last days that I vlog and I just don't ever have enough energy to like finish out the vlog strong. <laughs> so here I am on Monday. I was gonna like wear the same shirt and pretend that it was Sunday and just vlog and like pretend that I actually finished it. But then I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna tell you guys, I didn't vlog the rest of yesterday. <laughs> so what happened yesterday? We went couch shopping and we found one that we liked. We found a couch and a love seat and a really cool ottoman. It definitely isn't the way I envisioned how our living room would be. I really wanted to go with like a mid-century modern type vibe, but those couches are so trendy right now that they're just so expensive. And I really wanted like this tan leather one. It was beautiful, I loved it. But like, usually those couches alone are like $1,500 and we just couldn't justify that. And then when I was really thinking about it, like I really wanted something that was comfortable and cozy and really welcoming. And I just love when like, living rooms have, first of all, comfortable couches, comfortable seating, deeper seating, and then like an ottoman where you can put your, you know, you can rest your legs, you can kick up, you can lay down, you can do all the cool stuff. It's not a sectional, so it is like still separate, which I do like and prefer. The ottoman is a little bit like, it kind of has like a velvety texture. Not quite though. It's kind of hard to explain. It's like half velvet, half kind of plush, which is interesting, but it's a little bit more bougie than I wanted to go. Like it looks a little bit more like upscale, but I think it's going to tie in really well because a lot of the things that we have bought, like our TV stand and like our dining room table, like everything is very brown and like wood textures. So I think it's actually going to break up everything really nicely. And I think it's going to end up looking pretty good. Anyway, that was a really long description, but I'm excited for it. Now we just have to wait to, for it to be delivered. We did get our kitchen, our dining room table, and our server delivered today. And we got our cat tree delivered today. <laughs> we ordered a cat tree for the cats because we had to leave their old one behind. So they are living it up. Well, Specifically Misha. We're working on it. Um, Misha is a big bully. She does not like to share. And so I felt really bad because she was like sitting on the top most tier and Scout wanted to jump up and explore and she like bopped him and I was so mad at her and then she scratched me. So we had some words and uh, she's gonna lose her privileges if she doesn't be nice to her brothers. Anyway, oh my goodness. Okay, in between the couch we did stop at the Nike outlet. Andrew really really wanted shoes so we got him some shoes. I actually got some shoes too. They're right here. Didn't plan to go shopping yesterday, but we found some stuff that we liked and it was fun. And then I got a dresser, which I am still putting together. It's right there. And then all the drawers are almost completed. Oh my goodness. It's taking me 10,000 years to put this thing. I think I spent two hours on it last night and I'm still not done with it. And those are pretty much the updates. I still have to show you guys upstairs, don't I? I cannot remember for the life of me if I brought y'all upstairs yet during this vlog. So I'm going to do a little montage right now. 
here's the upstairs in case you missed it I don't remember so this is like the upstairs area this will be um, my office slash craft room I'm super excited because we're using our old kitchen table for me to be able to um, do all of my crafty things on and also have my computer up there so I'll be able to edit especially in silence which is super nice it's very like soundproof up here which is great because Andrew's drumming stuff is all the way in the basement so yeah it just works out that I'll be able to like I think really focus on editing when I need to get it done and then the guest room is the next room also upstairs but I love this as a guest room personally I would love if I like came to someone's house and I had like my own little upstairs area like this I think it's really like secluded and it feels just really cozy and homey and like you can kind of just be at home here so I really hope that that's what the get what it feels like for guests because we really want to create an atmosphere in our house that is really welcoming that's definitely our goal I definitely like want to show you guys more things and part three of this little three-part moving vlog series will be an official home tour you're probably gonna have to wait a couple more weeks for it as like my furniture gets delivered and I still have to decorate and set things up I specifically haven't been like taking you guys around too much and showing you everything because I really want to do like a really cool official home tour when everything is set up and complete so that is the plan thank you so much for watching this part two of my moving vlogs I had so much fun I like had such a blast just like picking out some things like figuring out where everything has gone I really don't have much left to unpack which is really exciting mostly just like my clothes need to go in this dresser um, our wall art needs to be placed around the home and just like little things here and there need to be put away but other than that things are pretty much getting settled and it's just feeling really good to be here so we're just so excited and I already like last week just had such a blast and like this weekend we had so much fun just hanging out with family and things just feel so much easier and lighter and I feel like I have so much freedom here that I didn't realize I didn't feel when I was in Memphis. It really truly feels like a whole new chapter is starting and I'm just so, so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down in the comments below what you would like to see in the house tour. I'm going to do a pretty general house tour, but if there's something really specific that you just are dying to see, um, let me know and I would love to include it. All right, you guys. Well, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day wherever you are. I love you so much and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.